Hi, my name is Katherine England and this is Mosaic Arts Online. In this course, I'm going to teach glass fusing for mosaic art. This is a great course to demonstrate what kinds of glass can be used for fusing, how to cut the glass for certain shapes and layer them so that they will fuse properly, as well as other products that are beyond just glass. I will share ideas of how you can expand your mosaics by adding fused glass pieces of art and I will demonstrate three different types of fusing techniques. There's the tack, the slump, and the full fuse. I will take you through the whole process of creating a variety of shapes and figures. I will teach you how to program the kiln for the desired effect and will reveal the finished product when we're all done. I will share with you the best and most economical places for purchasing the products as well as the kiln if you wish. And there are two major kiln companies. They will, I will give you the information that will help you better decide what kind of kiln is best for you and your work. Glass fusing can add a whole new dimension to your mosaic work. My goal is to give you the skills and the confidence to work successfully in this medium. So let's get started. Catherine, thank you so much for coming to Mosaic Arts Online. You know this is one of my favorite topics as I have done a lot of glass fusing in my mosaic career, as you have, and now we're here to share it with a lot of people. So I'm so thrilled you are here. So thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. Are you kidding? This is great. So um, I teach this a lot in my studio, and I'm really yes. glad that now you're offering a way for people to take this class when yes. they're far away from that type of thing. So yes. yay. many of you might be wondering what if you don't have a kiln and this is addressed in the course. And what we do want to tell you right now is this is not a course about mosaicing with the uh, fused pieces. This is about creating the fused pieces that then with your creative power, you will then go make mosaics. But look at this gorgeous piece here. Like who wouldn't want to make something like that? <laughs> so Catherine's going to explain a little bit more and elaborate a little bit more on the different kilns, the glass, and how you did get started in this glass fusing journey. Yeah, so you know if you've done mosaicing for a while you're always looking for new things and this was like 20 years ago. Uh, I was just curious about this whole section in my glass store called Bullseye mm -hmm. and what this was and they told me about somebody who was teaching a class up in the canyon. So I went up and she just did small things but I made uh, probably a hundred little tiny houses just trying different materials, uh, layering a whole bunch of layers and, and just experimenting with it. And then I started putting them in my mosaics. It was fun to fuse a bunch of flowers. They looked very different. They were extra shiny. They were fun to grout around. And it just started adding a whole new dimension to a lot of uh, products, uh, uh, projects that I was always working, already working on. Well, and that's what's great is that you have taken the small pieces that you can make like this and have gone into some huge murals. And you're not going to go that far in this course, but it does show you where you can go and there are pictures in the course so you can see all the different stuff that you are but tell us a little bit more about like the beginner can do this and how you do have this like very layered process as yeah. you are layering the glass yeah so I mean these all stand just fine on their own mm -hmm. uh, we like doing little projects at the holidays you know I teach uh, kids classes and we love working on with kids we like adding them as little gifts so even if you're not a super big mosaic person, you can still learn to do some fun things that are really great uh, to just play with and do on your own. And even if you don't have a kiln, uh, most people have a place nearby where mm -hmm. they have access to a kiln they can rent. Uh, we talk about the difference between glass kilns and ceramic kilns and the proper way to do that so you'll have a really successful and fun fun experience and we give you tons of ideas but of course I know you have a lot of your own. And we have a puppy on this one. Here. We brought a little doggy into this one, not to like pretend she's not here. He's not here. But the other thing we want to discuss really quickly is there are many different kilns that you can do. And Catherine's going to share about this kiln. But just so you know, this is a microwave kiln. It's very small. If you are just starting and you don't want to make a huge investment, neither of us have used this type of kiln, but there are instructions and different ways that you can. But just know that don't feel intimidated that it has 
has to be this kiln or even a larger one to get started. If you really want to start small, you could still take all the techniques that Catherine teaches about the layering, how to put the glass together, all the different types of glass that you do need to use in the proper way and put it into something small like this and still have a successful project. Okay, good. That's really a good point. And you can buy it on Amazon. How much? Yeah, like 40 dollars. $40, there $40 you go. on Amazon is a great gateway to what you will <laughs> definitely want to get into next. And Catherine gives a lot of information in text of where to buy these, the price ranges between this one and other ones. And what else can you add about this course? Well, I think you'll be surprised how many uh, new products that you'll learn about that you will use for fusing, but you also may find ways to use it in your own artwork. We talk about things like rods, dichroic glass, stringers, um, all sorts of new candy that perhaps you've heard of or, and haven't known how to use. Um, we, uh, I, at one point we talk a lot about how we do use this in murals. So e whether you're someone who just wants to play with some fun stuff or you're really professional and you want to go, how can I incorporate uh, fused glass into my really large commercial grade installations or in my own uh, smaller artwork, we cover the whole range and you will see some amazing things. Well, I can't thank you enough. Being a mosaic artist that has done large professional installations with glass fusings incorporated, I couldn't ask for a better person to come teach this. So thank you so much for coming out here to do this. A pleasure. This is always great. So have lots of fun, guys. Yes, have fun.